Hey everybody, it's Jessica with Planet Southern and I know it's been a while since I've recorded a video. You guys have been keeping me crazy busy over the summer and I love it. Um, I love how busy I've been uh, making new stuff, but more than making new stuff is mailing out the orders that you guys have been uh, getting from me. I love that you guys love my stuff and uh, thanks for shopping with me and for supporting my small little shop. Because of you, I've had to upgrade a few things around here. Uh, one is where my office is. If you've noticed, I'm filming in a different location, same room. Um, I just had to flip my desk around because I had to get a bigger desk. Um, some, you see over here, new printer and over here, new uh, shipping stuff and uh, organizing system inventory stuff going on over here um but mainly I just wanted to say thanks and I also have a shop announcement that I wanted to get out of the way before I dove into the my summer favorites um I am going to be closing the shop down for the just from uh, August the 22nd, which is a Monday, uh, through Sunday, I mean, I'm sorry, Saturday the 27th. So I'll be closed from uh, Monday to Saturday. And in that time, I've been summoned for jury duty. Like really, I don't want to do jury duty, but I'm going to suck it up and do it anyway. Um, you know, because I love my country and, and all of that. So, um, I have jury duty on the 22nd. Fingers crossed that I get, uh, I get, um, uh, excused. And, uh, I don't have to do it, but for that one day, because the courthouse is an hour away. Anyway, we're not talking about jury duty today. We're talking about Planet Southern. Um, so the 22nd, I have that. But the, the entire reason that I'm shutting the shop down is so that I can focus on the listings, getting the, the descriptions to where they're easier for you guys to understand, uh, posting a new uh, photos of everything uh, that need new photos. Uh, but the most drastic change will be my prices. Um, unfortunately, there is a trickling down effect that happens when you own a business and when you have more overhead as far as um, what I'm paying for materials, unfortunately, I have to raise prices. So to kind of balance that out, um, I'm going to show you guys. So right now I have three sizes of stickers in the shop. Uh, these right here are Minicon stickers, and this is the size of the sheet that they normally come on. And then um, I have icon stickers. Um, this is the size of the icons and that's the size of the paper that they normally come on. And then these are, um, this is this is new, it's a new listing that's gonna be going up in August. Uh, sneak peek, <laughs> don't tell. Um, Anyway, these are watercolor months uh, for like bullet journaling and such. But uh, this size of this sheet is the uh, large sheet that's in my shop for a few of the listings, not everything. But mainly it's like the sticker size, uh, which is the 0.75 inch uh, sticker size. That's normally what, what they come on or close to what they come on. Uh, right now, all of these sizes... No matter which one you get, um, well, these sizes are one dollar. These are uh, three dollar sheets because they're half sheets. Um, starting on the twenty seventh, when I open, um, I'm shooting for ten a.m. because I'm hoping I'll have everything done by ten a.m. Um, I'm gonna have a new size and new prices. So currently, right now, mat starts at $1, uh, clear mat starts at $1.50, and satin paper, which is our waterproof vinyl or weatherproof vinyl, starts at $1.75, uh, $1.75 a sheet, and then um, for the icons, and then 
you have the larger sheet which starts at um, $3, $3.50, $3.75. Starting in August, I'm going to have these, uh, this size sticker um, paper. This is going to take the place of all of the dollar stickers, uh, this size sheet. Um, this is going to be the $1 sheet. Um, they're going to be called mini sheets. That way you can grab a couple mini sheets if you just want to try a new paper, try a new sticker. If you don't know what you'll use it for, that's what these sheets are going to be. I'm going to fit as many. I've heard a lot of people say that they love that I fit so much on a, on a sticker sheet. And that's because I don't believe you should pay for paper that doesn't have a sticker on it. Uh, that's just... When I was buying stickers, I hated that people would send me a sheet this size with this many stickers. I hated it. So, um, I try and cram as many of them little stickers on there as I can. So, depending on the size of the sticker, of course, is depending on how much uh, is going to be on here. Um, the, one do the sheets that are now $1 are going to start at two dollars so the matte sheets will be two uh, clear matte will be 250 and the um, satin sheets will be 275 and then these sheets will start at a uh, four dollars so um, everything is going up by a dollar and I'm adding a mini sheet to kind of counterbalance that I'm still going to be running my sales if you're a part of the VIP uh, Planet Southern VIP group on Facebook. Um, I post in that group first um, and I give that group so many hours of the sale first. Um, I also open that up to the local planner group here. Um, they also get notified of the sale first. Uh, then after a couple of hours it goes out to my Instagram and the um, the um, Facebook page um, it goes there and Twitter so if you want to know about sales first you need to be in the Planet Southern um, VIPs group I try and post a lot of stuff that I'm working on and doing I try and post as much as I can um, in that group and I kind of create like a little planner community type type group it's really it's fun um, Okay, so enough of that. Let's talk about the summer. Um, during the summer, I tend to not want to carry a lot of stuff with me. I also tend to not leave my office very much because it is so hot. Uh, but I do have to run errands with my husband or for my husband, and because I I work and run his office as well uh, for um, for our business that he runs. Um, so yeah, that's that's basically what I do during the summer is work for him and work for you. <laughs> so um, let's get into it. For my, I am going to be doing kind of like a, a flip through of the of these notebooks, and I'm going to be filming a plan with me uh, for next week um, to upload on uh, the, over the weekend. But uh, this right now is my wallet. This is a, a Chic Sparrow, and I purchased this uh, from one of my good friends in a, a planner group. Shout out, Erica. Thanks, girl. I love Mr. Darcy. Um, Erica always loved holding the creme brulee A6 that I had as a wallet in the dark chocolate. And I had been eyeing a Mr. Darcy, but... I didn't know if I wanted to make that plunge. Um, and she was like, well, you know, I, I have a Mr. Darcy A6 in, in buttered rum. Sorry. My dog heard my son. Um, sorry. <laughs> uh, she's like, girl, you know, I, I have an A6 in buttered rum. And I about had a heart attack because that was what I wanted was the butter rum and every time I would go to look at it it would be sold out and I wouldn't be able to get it so um 
Anyway, this is my Mr. Darcy A6 that I use as my wallet. And if you look, oh, the patina on this, it was not this dark. I really wish I would have done a, um, a video but or a picture of uh, how it looked. But all the scratches, the dents, oh, I love it. Um, the setup is similar to how it was in my creme brulee, um, except for this is a deluxe. So I have these pockets here. I have an, uh, an RF, I'm trying to move this where you guys can see. This is an RFID um, passport wallet that I just slid under an elastic. And there is a pocket, um, a pocket here. And then this is a secretarial pocket here. And so all this does is it holds my credit cards that I use often. And um, and it is the RFID so you can't like scan it and get a digital copy. Uh, this I have not started using yet. This insert here. But it is a Traveler's Notebook brand. And it's just got a few pages in the front. I don't really know what I'm going to do with these. I mainly only got it for the uh, weekly spread. I'm sorry, monthly spread. Because I was sick of um, drawing it out, to be honest. Uh, the second insert here, um, this is just blotter, blotter paper for my pens. Um, this second insert here is also a Tomo, Tomoe River. Um, Midori insert and it just has a quote that I did for the uh, Monday matchup for Goulet pins um, and it says do what you love and you'll never have a problem with Monday and uh, I thought that was a very fitting quote because uh, I do do what I love um, so and thank you for allowing me to do that it's very awesome um, this second notebook I haven't done anything in yet except for I did make one monthly spread with my uh, dots for my bills just like I did in my happy planner when it was my personal planner I just did it in my wallet um, this time so I would have it everywhere that I went sometimes I don't take my personal planner out of the house with me uh, this is a Planner V waller in, wallet insert, and this is just a book, that an insert that I made to keep up with my check register and some cash, and this is just where I have some zipper pockets, and in the secretarial pocket, just my monthly dots. Normally, in this, um, this wallet, I will either keep, um, a roller ball or a fountain pen um, or both. Um, I have this JR Bond um, refillable roller ball pen and um, it just fills with a converter and then you can use the um, fountain pen ink with the roller ball. Um, I also have another pen that I'll show you later in the video that's a roller ball pen that um, I have been keeping in here lately. It's my new, one of my new favorite pens. Um, the planner that I have been using this summer is uh, this Traveler's Notebook by uh, Planner V. Um, it's super nice. This is her wide. Um, the only thing that I do not like about this is that I wish it was more like a chic sparrow and had multiple strings, uh, two strings, a uh, well, four elastics on the inside, um, just because I like having four, uh, but that's the only thing that I do not like. It's very good quality. She has sales um, all the time and she does new releases. So Planner V, I'll link her down below. Uh, Valerie, she's awesome. And it comes with pin loops, and I love these pin loops because um, anybody with fountain pens know fountain pens. Hard to find a pin loop, 
and uh, this is just a diamond a uh, Twisby diamond 580 and if uh, you see I mean it slides in no problem maybe you can't see and I'm also trying to do it with one hand but yep no problem I use all of my fountain pens in here even my Jin Hao 159 which is a huge pen fits in that elastic um the uh, inserts that I have been using are Made Designs insert. This first one um, is um, open to last week, or yeah. This first one is the um, weekly boxes on the top, and then the graph paper at the bottom. And I just take a um, a Statler pigment liner or a Faber Castell and draw the lines and write out. I use uh, the washi sheet from the weekly kit uh, that I have listed in the shop um, and I just use some of the leftover stuff and the icon sheets and that's how I do like my main like the bones of my planner um, the weekly appointments are just stuff that get done that week but not necessarily on a certain day um, and then I have a notes section and the meal planning down here is something new that I've added um, where I just pick like six or five or six or even seven uh, different meals that I um, want to have the ingredients for on hand and I go grocery shopping get everything and then plug in those meals so then I can just look down here and know what options we have for dinner so more blotter paper um this i got the the package combo deal when i got this um traveler traveler's notebook can't talk um and this is just the a wallet matching wallet insert and in here i keep um stickers icon sheets and um, in the zippered pouch, I keep a smaller ones, um, a pen or two if I need a pen. I normally don't even keep pens in there because I have a pen loop. Um, and my tweezers for planning on the go. This is more of my bullet journaling um, notebook. It's the plane. And I'll do a flip through of this because I do have some really cool stuff uh, for August. Um, in here but this is just my monthly spread oh one thing I will show you now are these uh, August trackers from boho berry um, if you're in her tribe um, then you have access to some of her uh, printables but this one you can buy in her uh, Etsy shop um, as a printable I believe or you can get um, her to cut them and I just printed these off on sticker paper and um, and then I filled them in so basically when you get it I can't I'm not used to filming on my computer guys um it's basically just the bones all of these dots this right here August tracker but I colored it in it was not colored in for me it was black and white these lines uh, right here and then the quote at the bottom an August quote says, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence then is not an act, but a habit from Aristotle, which is true. And um, just some other things that I have in here. I printed off more of the trackers for menu tracker. I did find that uh, this summer, one of the reasons I did not use my planner as much is because I didn't feel like hand drawing everything that is great when you're in the mood and you have time I didn't have time I don't think I actually um, opened up my planner and did anything past maybe one or two weekly um, spreads and then a daily um, every now and then mostly it was just scratching down on a piece of paper or uh, using the reminders on my phone uh, to actually plan this summer and then I have a list of all of the pens that I have inked up and if I change the inks I um I mark them out like I scratch them out and then uh write like down here on the bottom what date um I 
re-inked my pen. And then uh, this is just a lined notebook. So I have somewhere for scratches like a commonplace notebook. And this is just a dot grid that I made um, as a journal for the journaling challenge that we're doing in the group, the Planet Southern uh, VIP group. Um, also, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about the this idea, if this is something that you would want to see in the shop. Um, this is a skin that I printed off. Um, I had an idea because I wanted to cover this notebook but I did not want to have to break out the glue or the tape or, you know, die cuts or anything to um, make this notebook pretty. So um, I designed a, a paper and printed it out and I printed it on the satin paper. So um, if I did that, I would, would sell these in the shops. Uh, as skins so then you just peel it off stick it on your traveler's notebook and then trim the edges and then you have a uh, cute little um, little skin for your traveler's notebook insert and uh, I would be able to customize them and however you wanted to do so let me know in the comments below what you think if you think that that would be a great idea um this is I transferred, I moved from Happy from Erin Condren into a Happy Planner. Once I got this Carpe Diem Planner, and I hate it. I do not like the, the rings. I don't like that I have to open it up. and It's just too much of a hassle. I have found that lately I like things easy. Because I'm busy all the time. And I want something easy and that I don't have to put a ton of effort into um because I don't have time to to barely plan much less um fix a notebook so I don't have uh any use for that that's just sitting um but I am going to be moving and doing another plan with me and moving back into my Erin Condren and I already have uh, if everything goes as planned, um, I have plans to use an hourly Erin Condren for next year. Erin Condren is just my sweet spot. That, I know her planners. I saw, I'm i sorry, Erin, I love you, but your planners are overpriced. For the paper quality and the ring quality and the quality of the planner. I know this is an old one. This is one from last year this is the planner my very first scrapbooking planner life planner um so i can't say that it's the worst i've ever had because i'm i have only had that one i do have an hourly planner for um i could technically use it now but um that that is the one it is a little overpriced but it is also my sweet spot and it's, it's what works for me. So, uh, what I ended up doing for the Erin Condren, because I do like the hourly format, I just made these um, hourly stickers. And um, you can cut them at any, any time. These are not for this shop. I mean, if you guys want me to list them. Um, if you want to turn your Erin Condren or Happy Planner into, because I use these in the Happy Planner too. If you want to uh, turn your Happy Planner or Erin Condren into an hourly, um, I will gladly, I'll show you what it looks like. I'll gladly um, list those for you. Um, but here's just an idea of what that looks like. So, um, let's see. I'm still using my Statlers. I'm still using these pigmented uh, liners. They work great for drawing and bullet journals. Um, one thing that is new that I just got are the, and I'm really excited. These are, um, 
you can, they're highlighters. They're made by Preppy. And um, I have one in every color and two in blue and two in green. And they're made by Pilot. Um, they're Pilot Preppy highlighters. And if you can see in there, uh, it has a converter. So these are refillable highlighters. Uh, you can buy cartridges for them. They actually come with one cartridge. Um, but I have picked up um, Noodler's highlighting inks. And this is why. So uh, these preppies, I for totally forgot to grab the receipt to see how much they are. Um, I will put a link down below to Goulet Pens. is where I picked these up from. Um, I want to say the pens, don't quote me on this, were something like five bucks. And the converters are something like three to three dollars. So for eight dollars, roughly, I got a refillable highlighter. Um, it will last until the tip wears out and then I can just buy a new tip for a couple bucks and still have a, a, a high, perfectly great highlighter. Uh, you can also, I think, get these in brush pens and fountain pens, the, the preppy highlighters. Uh, you just switch out the tips. Um, but so far, they are excellent, excellent uh, highlighters. I personally do not like the cartridges um, only because um, I went through all of Noodler's inks and picked these colors for specific reason because I color code and uh, these these colors match my um, my color coding system and I can actually show you um, what they look like because I have it written out. So if you see here, I think I posted this on Instagram too, uh, but I wrote in a Noodler's Black with my fountain pen, my rollerball fountain pen. And then um, you've got Noodler's uh, Dragon Catfish Green, Noodler's Firefly, Noodler's Georgia Peach, Lightning Blue, Catfish Orange, um, and then you've got Socrates, and it's like a teal blue color for Dostrovsky. I can't, I don't know. It's Russian, I believe. I don't even know if it's Russian. Don't quote me on that. Um, but I have those uh, highlighters, and I really do love them. Um, lately, I have been reaching this summer for uh, these uh, Lamy pens. They're Lamy Safaris. Um, well, these are Lamy Safaris. This is a Lamy All Star. And this one is uh, the Copper Orange Lamy All Star. I'm going to reach over and cut this light on for you guys. Maybe that. Mm, that doesn't help. Sorry. Um, oh, there we go. This is a uh, Lamy All Star in copper orange, and this is a limited edition. And then, and uh, this is the actually the um, a Safari, and it is also a neon coral. And then you have a Lamy Vista, just a clear demonstrator pen. And then this is the uh, dark lilac which you can't really tell um, I'm filming on my computer uh, so you can't really tell it looks blue but this is the dark lilac Lamy Safari and um, this actually has a cartridge and uh, all of these are using cartridges at the moment they can use converters but um, cartridges has, is what I have been loving this summer I'm um, pretty much because um, I have neon coral cartridge, the neon coral ink in a cartridge because that was a limited edition and special edition for that year uh, for I believe it was 2014. Um, they don't have it in bottled ink anymore and I hate it because it has a beautiful pink ink and I was not into fountain pens when this pen was out so I couldn't get it, the bottled ink. Um, I was also late to the party on the copper orange. I did not get a bottle of that ink 
and can't find it anywhere. Um, so I have copper orange cartridges because I did find um, copper orange cartridges and neon coral cartridges off of Amazon. Um, the dark lilac pen, I do have a bottle of dark lilac. I got the bottle and uh, I also, uh, when I ordered my neon coral, I ordered some Lamy Violet cartridges and happened to um, try those cartridges before the dark lilac and they sucked me in. So that's what is in here and I absolutely love that color, but it's only a cartridge ink story of my life. Um, and in here uh, currently is uh, Lamy Blue just because I wanted a basic blue pen. Um, so that's what is in my, uh, Lamy Vista. Um, this summer I've also been, um, rotating through my Twisby collection. And, uh, I have a few other pens that, that I, that I, I have, but I, I'm going to clean them out. Um, I have this pink Monte Verde, um, Artista, my favorite thing, um, about this pen. I can get the cap off is uh, that the feed is clear so the feed is whatever color is in your pen and um, I love this pen it's one of the best nibs um, that I have had um, until my current favorite pen um, this is my second favorite nib um, great pen. It's made in the USA. It's a Monte Verde Artista. Um, I, I want to say it's around $35 and comes with a cart, uh, converter. And it does take cartridges. Don't quote me. I think it's international, um, international, standard international, but don't quote me on it. Um, these are my Twisby, my Twisby collection. Um, Two new additions would be um, these two pens. Um, they're both Diamond 580. This one is in silver and this one is in orange or lava. Um, they're both limited edition runs from, well, the lava is a limited edition run. The um, silver they always normally have, I believe. Pretty sure. Um, this one has... Um, Apache Sunset just because I wanted to match my inks. This has um, Jerbon Stormy Gray, which is a beautiful ink. But I'm on the fence with Jerbon and Diamine. This has Night Sky and it just shimmers like no tomorrow. And I love sparkle and um, I love pens. And if you can combine a pen with some sparkle, you've got me hooked. So, thank you, Diamond, Diamond. Um, my Twisby Mini and my Twisby Eco. This has an Oroko Juco, Oroko Juco ink. Yeah, go ahead, correct me. I know, I said it wrong. I'm just a southern girl. Um, Oroko Juco ink. Uh, it's a pilot ink. And this has a, a Diamond um Persian blue or Prussian blue, but uh, by far my favorite pens of the summer are my latest edition and I have been using them for everything and using them like crazy and that has been my Visconti Rembrandt. Uh, this is a fountain pen and it's just a magnetic close. So I love that part. I love how easy it is. But this is one of the best nibs and the smoothest nibs that I personally have used um, to date. Um, I have only been in fountain pens uh, since February of this year. Um, but I have a, a somewhat addictive collection um, that is growing. And I want a London Fog Visconti Homo Sapiens. 
but y'all haven't had me that busy yet. So I need you guys to step it up some so I can get my, my Visconti Homo sapien. <laughs> uh, that is right now one of my Holy Grail pins, even though a Holy Grail is something you don't get. I'm going to get that pin, hopefully. Um, anywho, this is my current favorite pin. Um, this is the same same pen. It's the Rembrandt. Um, this is the red. This is the purple. Uh, this is the rollerball version. Long story of how I got this pen, but uh, it is a rollerball. I was going to send it back, but this purple finish is unbelievably amazing in person. And the only reason I'm keeping it is because I can switch these out. So I got this one um, not super, super cheap, but at a reasonable price uh, because they did send me the wrong pen. Um, they gave me a partial refund. Um, shout out to that seller. Um, and uh, I can switch the bodies. So what are you going to do? Um, except for love that purple finish. <laughs> I'm not a purple fan all the time, but that pen is awesome. So, um, I'm looking around at my desk and I don't see anything else. So, I think that this is, um, this is it. I hope that you enjoyed this video, this little summertime catch-up. Um, I don't forget to, uh, like and subscribe the video. If you like the video and you want to see more, like and subscribe. Also, I uh, go and join my Facebook group. It's um, Planet Southern VIPs. I'll put a link down below to that group. Uh, that's where I post all of the new releases information. And uh, I'm also doing a journaling prompt challenge. You don't have to post anything about your uh, journaling, or you can. I would love to see pictures of your journal. Uh, but I just do like a prompt just to help people like me who wanted to start journaling. Uh, get at some ideas, um, brainstorming ideas. Um, also, leave a comment down below uh, for what you think about this uh, question. This is really me just talking to you guys. Um, I have really thought about uh, doing a question and answer type video. Um, I've been listening to a lot of uh, Brian Goulet's um, question and answer on his fountain pen uh, channel. Um, about pens and papers. Um, Matt over at The Pen Habit has been a great, um, I've turned his channel on to, and I'll also um, The Pen Addict. I've been listening to that podcast as well, and I'm sorry the, the lighting is changing. It's uh, distracting. That is uh, my screen. Sorry. Um, but I've been listening to their question and answer, and I've really been thinking about doing one for planners. Um, I don't know a ton, but I would love to give some input about what I do know, uh, experiences that I have had, um, and just some, some maybe some help getting you started in planning. Um, if you have any questions that you want answered, leave them in a comment down below and I will do a question and answer type video. Let me know if you would like to see one recorded or if you would like to do like a live um, like Google Hangouts or something like that. Um, when we'll figure something out and I think that that um, is it for this week if you would leave that down below. I feel like I have rambled this entire video, but it's great. Um, I'm not going to do much editing to this, just a few things here or there because I want to get this posted and uploaded. So now that I'm done rambling, <laughs> check me out on Facebook and Instagram and um, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all at Planet Southern. And I hope you guys have a great week. Uh, or weekend, or day, or night, whenever you're watching, and I will see you later. Bye!